Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Nakiato here. So, having uh, intro, outro music, and anything else that you want to stick on a soundboard sounds pretty fun when it comes to live streaming or doing a podcast, right? Yeah? Now, I know it can be a pain in the ass to set up. I search around for effing ever to try and figure out a solution that didn't cause any kind of reverb or have uh, my friend's audio over Skype play back to them so they would hear themselves. Now, <laughs> pretty much every video that I found, that was the only solution, and it was frustrating. But I figured out a way that I could have a soundboard and I could have these extra audio features while using Skype without that crap. So let me show you how. Now, there's a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need voice meter banana. I prefer banana. It's more well-rounded and has a lot more features than the just regular voice meter. Now, voice meter will work, but I prefer banana. Banana. Uh, and then uh, you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter jack. So, you know, just a regular aux cable. You're going to need a virtual audio cable, which voice meter also provides a free, and yes, voice meter is also free. <laughs> this awesome ass program is free, and so is the voice cable that goes along with it. You're going to need both of those, and uh, I'll provide the link to download those down in the description below. So after you have those and your audio cable, you're going to need something to play your music on or play your sound files on. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my phone. Now that's, that's super simple. When I'm doing my podcast, I use my laptop, but just to, for demonstration purposes, you can use your phone. That's ridiculous because there's a bunch of programs that you can get online for free. Uh, that allow you to make custom soundboards so you can connect this sound and that sound and this intro and that intro and then have something like this. Hooray! Little tiny audio clips. It's great. It's great. I, uh, I highly enjoy doing this. Now, after you have your phone connected to your computer, which you're going to need to connect your phone to your computer using the line in jack on your on the back of your computer. It's the little blue circle right next to your uh, audio output jack. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. All right, so that's your line in. Now, what your line in does is it takes any audio source and pipes it through your computer. Now, uh, this isn't just for a phone or a laptop or anything like that. You can literally anything that is a, a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can pipe into your computer. So you can also do this with, oh, I don't know, a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. You know, just connect it to your controller, connect it to your computer, and then have the video going through your capture card super simple so that way you can still hear notifications from people following you or donating to you while you can still hear all of the in-game audio fan freaking tastic now uh after you have that set up now what you have to do is you have to go into voice meter banana and then set this up so uh what we'll have to do is under hardware input one and i know that this looks daunting I know, but it's not. It's actually a really easy program to understand once you know what all the buttons do. Now, uh, under Hardware Input 1, right here, you want to select your microphone. As you notice, when I talk, the little bar goes up and down. So have your microphone selected. And then Hardware Input 2, we want to select Line In. So we'll get that selected, and that's that's your phone. That's whatever you have connected to that line in. And then if you feel like connecting anything into the uh, the hardware input 3, that can that can really be anything. You you can pipe in a, a secondary mic or anything like that. That is totally at your discretion. I'm just going to show you how to do these two right now. Um, up at the top right hand corner, you're going to notice the uh, the A1, A2, and A3. 
basically what that is, is it's your audio outputs. So your headphones or your virtual cables or anything like that, that's all going to be your, uh, your audio out. So under A1, we want to select your speakers. And then under A2, we want to select that virtual audio cable that you installed, you know, that you have connected to your computer. So after you have your virtual audio cable selected, go ahead and click A2 on both your microphone and your line in device. Now, when you select A2, that's basically telling your computer, I want to take this microphone and I want to take this line in device, this, this phone, and pipe it into a single line. And that's what the virtual audio cable is. It's a, it's then a single uh, virtual line that you can connect to whatever you want like Skype. Now I'll go ahead and pull Skype up real quick and go to tools and options and when we have tools and options selected go ahead and go to audio settings and you notice when I talk and a little bar is going under microphone you want to select your cable output so on voice meter you want to select cable input on Skype you want to select cable output and now just to test this out obviously you can see that me speaking causes the little thing to move and the soundboard works fine got everything all set up you're ready to go you're ready to have some soundboard awesomeness while you stream and play games and do a podcast or whatever the hell you're wanting to do now of course you could do all this live stream and whatnot without this but uh, if you want your friends over Skype or hey even mumble or ventrilo or anything like that to hear what's going on on your end or you want them to hear these audio files this is how to do it and this is how to do it without feeding their audio back to them I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful in any way, shape, or form. If you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you have comments on more things that you would like to see in, I don't know, any game or uh, any audio feature that I could possibly help you with, or video feature, just streaming in general. general. If you have any suggestions for me to make a video, just leave the comment down below. Now I'll play some outro music for you guys because I can. Oh yeah, one click of a button.